Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and I am at the incredible Film Factory Studios in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where we are shooting our friend Anna, who is a Miss World Canada candidate. And so our assignment today is to do some photos for the pageant. I've got on my stands, we've got uh, one right here, and this is our soft light. And this is just an overall soft light, but it brings a very, very pretty, soft, subtle lighting to the face. On the back here, we ha actually have a snoot, and the snoot is so that we can direct a lot more separation in that hair light. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn these lights off. We'll turn that off and this off, <clears throat> and then Ninja's still on. So I'm going to take a photo just so you guys can see what the difference is with it off. And um, it's okay that you're holding that thing. It's, these are just demos. So that's what that looks like with, with it off. And then when we put it on, you'll see, we'll see it like this. And so it's quite a dramatic difference with the lighting. What's nice about if we have to shoot in continuous lighting is that it's easy to see. It's very predictable without flash. With flash, it would be a lot of test shots and everything like that. And overall, for the mood of this, uh, it's fine. Now, these are very low-power 11-watt bulbs. You know, it's very interesting because you go into a camera store and you go, ooh, yeah, I need to get these really big, big, uh, powerful studio lights. You really don't. And especially here, I'm going to be doing full-length high keys. Now, we're going to have the stands in the shot, but we're just going to... Uh, retouch those out in Photoshop and make just very, very clean, beautiful high keys. So the cyclorama gives us the very clean, shadowless er everything because these lights light the background. And then my guys right here give us a very nice highlighting on the model so we can light wherever uh, we want the lighting to be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the, the those lights. So let's turn off these guys. And that's what you have. So right there, you can actually see the effect that my lights have. And you could do something like, oh, God, that looks really dramatic. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cool? I like it. I'm going to do one like this. Okay, so I do have your dome, so you're not holding the dome. Yeah, let's do one like this. Really dramatic. Oh, wow, I like it. So cool. Um, but anyway, but as you can see here, we've got shadows going everywhere and we're going to fix that there we go back to normal and back to high key so now the next thing we're going to do is we have to white balance my model to make sure that her face is correctly uh, color balanced and the way we do that is she's going to hold our half dome um, actually put it right in front of your nose <coughs> And on this, this will allow me to make a really perfect color balance. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to function and then white balance, which is right here. And then we're going to ask the camera to give us a setting for custom white balance. So it's going to ask me to come in real tight. And you see this little square right there? We're going to fill that or that little circle. We're going to fill that circle with this half dome. Now, this half dome is nicely shaped so that it picks up the light from everywhere. Okay, you can just go ahead and throw that out of the way. Nice, and it does fly. And the dogs will guarantee <laughs> that we get a reorder for replacement parts. <laughs> but so now here we have just beautiful, beautiful spot-on lighting. Look at that. It's just dead on so realistic down to the 16.8 millionth uh, degree uh, by definition what i'm shooting here right here this all this apparatus that you see this is all for the video okay but uh so ignore this this is just for us to record the video which you're seeing right here but the um camera itself and this is a uh sony a7 ii and uh i've chosen it. I really like this camera. We do a lot of videos on it, and um, 
It's a fantastic camera, five-way stabilization. None of that which matters for when you're shooting on tripods, but it just happens to be the camera that I have out right now. I have all of the Sony A7s, uh, the 7S, R2, um, or the regular 7, A6000, A77 Mark II. I have all of them, and they all have different purposes, but sometimes I just grab whatever's around. This is a full-frame camera, okay? What we have here is the long telephoto lens, and this is beautiful piece of glass. This is a 17 to 200 f4 G series. And what I like about it is I can be right here shooting full lengths or portraits. But when I shoot portraits, I get that beautiful compression. So any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to this really great channel. Thank you.